Hi. So today I got the timer and I wanted to do um, like 15 minutes. Maybe I can do 20. Okay, let's do 20. I wanted to do 20 minute video and just do something and not stuff around. And uh, this is going to be my very first one. So we'll, we'll see how that's going to go. And let me set the clock and I'm just going to start um, when I tell you what I'm what I have in mind to do. Um, OK, just like quickly, I have the envelope. I have a book page that is colored with uh, really cheap um, watercolors. I have one of the what is it called that thingy and uh, some magazine stuff and advertisement. So I'm going to do something with it and let's start. OK, it's going. So um, I thought I would just use some of the magazine pages. I really like this one, so I don't want to ruin it. I'm going to use it for something. But pages like these that are really boring, I just want to take out. This is like really fat, but I took a lot, a lot of pages out already. So another thing that uh, I was thinking, if I'm not going to use this, um, I would use the advertisement. So let's put the advertisement aside and let's think with this. Um, I think I want to do like really quick, easy tags. So was thinking maybe I could, let me see, hopefully you can see. I wanted to do something like so. And then I'm going to just fold it and fold it again. I'm going to use the whole page. It's probably not, it's, it's different thickness everywhere, but uh, I don't mind at all. And then I need a, a glue stick. I have one that it's really cheap and it's probably dry. Put some water on it to maybe uh, make it more uh, usable. Just gonna slide a little bit of glue so it's gonna stick down. That's all that I need. Um, <clears throat> not sure how many tags can I do with this one, but I think at least two. Where is that going? Somewhere like that. Okay, this is my base, and I'm gonna. I don't think the lighting is good. Let's, I'm going to make two tags out of this one and cut it down a little bit. Let's say somewhere on the middle. I'm not worried about the top that it's uh, torn at all. So somewhere here. And now what I'm going to do is just, I have this, can you see, um, doily? long long doily and I used some Inca gold on it and I think it looks really pretty uh, when you can actually see the design that it's on um, today I received some of the metallic watercolors that I ordered from Aliexpress I'm gonna put the link down below so you can go check so a really small but there is a lot inside you know a lot in one container and I've been trying them out today. They're really nice looking. I have some tester here. Can you see that? Oh my god, I love the purple. I love every color. It's like really, really nice. And they dry really good and they don't smudge or anything. Um, so they're really cheap, but they're really, really awesome. So link them below. Um, <laughs> Uh, so you can use this as well. Um, you put a little bit of uh, water on the top and you rub it in with your finger and you can do same technique if you don't have Inca Golds or, you know, stuff like that. So I wanted to utilize that because I have a lot and uh, just we'll see how I'm going to do with that. Um, I'm going to glue these pieces to this paper and then cut it out and then probably glue it to somewhere else. 
I think I need some glue. I'm just gonna go like so. Doesn't even matter. And I think I am going to stitch on this um, tag right before it's totally, totally finished. Ah, uh, I think that's not even straight, is it? Uh, let's just uh, tack it down. 15 minutes! Oh my god, I'm talking too much. Talking too much. Okay. And the other one, I'm gonna just put on this edge. Something like so. Probably not straight, but oh well. Scissors. I'm gonna cut them out, like, really quickly. If you always think I'm out of focus, I'm not sure if that's really the case. I think I'm gonna trim it again with my guillotine so it's gonna be straight. Um, yeah, okay, let's try it. <laughs> Might make it a little bit smaller, but it's alright. It's totally alright. I'm trying to layer more more papers together to get um consistency of uh, like thicker tag. Um, you could use cardboard for sure, yes, but the magazines and all the junk mail. You know, ooh, I like that. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, and I like this one as well. If I can cut it really nicely, that's gonna be even better. So it's raining like the whole day and yesterday, and just raining and raining. Ugh, I missed that. Probably not straight, but all good, all good, all good. Okay, let me put this aside. My uh, bin is on the other side now, so it's really a bit awkward. Mm. I have this. This is really old envelope from I don't even know 2000 and something. You can use old ones as well because they are similar in the ins on the inside. Like this one is used, new but used, so you can use the inside. So what I'm going to do is just cut and have it as a writing on the back. So how many envelopes do you have saved up that you can use like that? Hmm? Um, I don't mind that it's gray. I like that because it's not white. <laughs> I'm going to take this off. And I think I'm going to use that um, for collage thingy. And my poor glue stick that I need to use up. Don't glue it on the wrong side. I just hate how, how dry they are. And I think I bought it this year. Let me put you right next to here. Oh, maybe I can put you just here, even though there is a thingy there. This top, if it's not glued down really good, I'm gonna glue it again, but I think it's fine. 10 minutes! Come on, Emma! Come on, come on, come on! Can't believe time flies! Okay, let me try this one. And I think I'm going to reuse these bits as well to make more tags as well. I need to do it something like so. And if it's not totally perfect, you can ink it and it's going to look perfect. Because <laughs> it's, you know... 
always that trick. I think it's taking forever. The trimmer is a little bit sad, but it's gonna be alright. I'm gonna trim a little bit at the top and then uh, let me put this aside. I have a new background. <laughs> I put another, um, I protect my outside table with um, garbage bag, you know, those big ones that you like 120 or 150 liters. And what I do is I protect it and uh, because it's a rough surface, it's a greedy texture. Um, and yeah ink this is really really cheap ink maybe you can see it from aliexpress as well i just now and then i use my uh, water to um moisten it up if i can say it like that and and then i you can cut this down as well if you feel like it it's too big and then um sometimes i re-ink it with whatever reinker i have i bought two reinkers i think in the past, I don't know how many, I think like, like here, can you see? This is like pigment ink, whatever, I don't mind. I just need, sometimes it needs a little bit of ink because it's getting gray, uh, not black. And that's when I know that it needs a little bit more color. But I like, even though the sponge is really um, beaten up, <laughs> I just use it till the end. And uh, I think I have another one that I got uh, a while back, but I'm gonna use, 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 use. Uh, and on the, the older one, I think I put some black watercolor on it, but I have to activate it every time that I'm using it because this lid is, it's like not, um, it's gonna dry on you. That's what, I thought I had something on the top. Oh, I have on this one. Okie dokie. Seven minutes. I just can't believe how time flies. Even with me just doing, you know, two little tags. Okay, next thing. Before I stitch it up, I'm gonna stitch around. Uh, I feel like I wanna use some of the... this. And then again, I'm not sure. But I feel like I want to. White. I think white is too bland. Hmm, let me see. This edge that doesn't have any writing, I feel like I could use it something like that. Let me just um, um, glue some good glue stick on it. <laughs> so, I actually am using this advertisement after all. Just gonna glue lightly. Oop, don't be too hard on this. Uh, yes, it's working. So, I think it was this one, right? I think it was. I wanted to do this. But I think it's gonna look good. Even if it doesn't. Um, <laughs> still finishing it up. Yeah, it has to dry because it's so sticky with this glue. This is a best glue for me. For me, price range and how it's performing. And I think this, I have so sticky fingers. I put some on the back as well. I'll try to do something with that. Let me see if I go over with my ink. Oh yeah, I like that too. Uh out of the focus can you see that hopefully you can um so i put more ink on it and i think this one it's kind of finished um wanted to put something on top let's finish this one as well it's like four minutes run 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 and i want to put this somewhere 
somewhere here I feel like oh yeah just because why not oh this is so gluey and I take some glue off of it try to apply on my thingy here not much but some I think this is my second or third time actually using uh, doilies, doilies, anything with doilies, something like this, my gluey fingers, three minutes, run, 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 I think I'm going to stitch and then uh, when it's all stitched I'm going to come back and show you how it looks like. My sewing machine is in the other room. I think everybody should do something every single day, um, you know, just to play a little. Um, even if it's nothing spectacular, it's just something. I'm gonna put a little bit of black on the edges as well, just to make it more um, visible. Oh bluey fingers okay I have two tags I like that the text is oh here is really gluey I like that the text is turned um, so I can read it if I wanted to back is not so clean but it's gonna dry and it's gonna be just fine so I'm going to be back real quick um, I'm gonna stitch them up okay so I'm back I had to wash my hands because they were all gluey and uh, these are the tags. Um, I just couldn't find something to fit on. Uh, <laughs> but, um, you know, you can really use anything. If you don't have painted papers or book pages or you don't want to kill the book, then you can use pieces of fabric and you can do the same way that I did. Just it's fabric or it's plastic or it's packaging. Maybe you have some packaging from I don't know you just bought some cheese and you have that packaging you can utilize that and you can cover it and you can you know put something over it if you don't like how it looks like so like you can do anything and use everything I have so much paper and uh, I think I can start using a lot of magazines that are boring like this because this is not flimsy very flimsy like a piece or two pieces of paper since we stitched they're really good um, so you can write on the back you can even stencil let's stencil I put all my stencils in a bag for for coffee dyed papers so I have none um, okay let's just so okay got one I'm gonna quickly do this and then um, stop stop doing it and just move on to a next thing I think I'm gonna use this one uh, just to make it a little bit different but um, I made a lot of um, coffee dyed um, papers and stencil papers so you can go check those out um, there is a link in the description in my Etsy store if you are interested and um, I'm going to be using some of them as well. Oh, that's so much better. And a little bit more. Maybe I can do another color. Oh, I don't like to. A little bit black. Um, maybe offside. You know, just a little bit to make it more interesting. And uh, yeah, I have, uh, I think, few packs of papers and some are, ooh, I love it. Some are lined, some are grid papers. So yeah, I think they're really cute. So I hope this video is going to spark some ideas for how you can use stuff that you have. Oh, here goes my clock. And uh, yeah, I will try to make more 20 minute videos in the future and do more of the quick crafts as well thank you very much for watching bye